Hi there, this is Gali Gofarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about the five keys to making successful choices in life. New Year's is coming right up ahead and many of us are preparing our New Year's resolutions. But how do we know if the choice we are making is really good and right for us? Sometimes it's plain hard to make good decisions and to feel sure about the ones we do make in our life. Most of us are good at making pros and cons lists, but let's be honest, we don't really use those to make our decisions. So how can we make wise choices that will positively impact our lives? In this video, I mention the five key questions to ask yourself before making successful choices in life. Consider these questions before making a decision and success will be yours to keep. The first key question to ask yourself is, do I want this? Something shiny and new always looks attractive, but once the newness wears off, will you still want it? How much so? Or could it be a way to escape your current situation? Sometimes we focus on something new to distract ourselves from a position in our lives that isn't exactly how we want it to be. It is very important that we be honest with ourselves about our true motivators and think about the impact our decision will have in the long run on our lives. The second key question to ask yourself is what will I be giving up? Whatever decisions we make, whether be they professional, personal, or about our health, including our daily habits and the routines we fall into, will have an impact on the direction our lives are taking. As it can seem like a romantic and fun idea to go with the flow, the best way to end up somewhere we don't want to be is to have no plan at all. Unfortunately, it is not until we are so far away from where we really want to be that we ask ourselves, how did I even get here? There will always be a cost to the choices we make. What will I have to put aside when making this particular choice? What price will I have to pay with my health, with my time, with my peace of mind, or with my relationships? And is it worth this price for me in the long run? Think about your honest answers to these questions before making a final decision. The third key question to ask yourself is what are the repercussions of this choice? The temptation is to only think about getting what we want here and now and not thinking about the way this affects our mid distant future. Most people are used to being thorough about evaluating decisions in the professional field much more than they are for their personal decisions or their romantic ones. Trying to avoid situations that are likely to happen or even doing a mental exercise of worst case scenario are very positive when trying to stay out of situations that you may regret in the long term. The next question, the next key question you want to be asking yourself is who will be affected by my decision? It would be fabulous if other people were not affected by anything we do, but unfortunately this is far from being the case. To have peace of mind, we will want to make decisions that keep the people who we care about with their best interest in our mind. It is especially tricky when this comes to family, but can also be conflict in uh, certain work situations as well. Since we are all connected through our consciousness, every choice we make will have repercussions on many people outside of ourselves. The fourth key to ask yourself is how do I physically feel about making this move? Our bodies and subconscious thoughts tell us a lot about our underlying emotions. Paying close attention to how we physically feel is very important. Also paying close attention to our dreams. They give us many, many clues about how we feel about a certain decision. If there are any new disturbances that we feel in our body or certain very impactful dreams, then this can help reveal our real thoughts and feelings about certain subjects and decisions. If there is unrest or lack of peace over a decision you are trying to make, a good rule is to hold off the decision until you do have peace. When in doubt, just sleep on it or ask a professional in the field for their advice. Consider also advising with someone close to you who you appreciate their success in the area which uh, you are having difficulty with. This is a wonderful way to get some very important insight as they are great at seeing blind spots and know you well enough to transmit this to you with facts based on past experiences. Now, finally, you wanna stick to the decision once it's made. If you have gone through this question process, 
of weighing all the options and asking yourself the right questions. You should be left with a clear decision to make. Now, once this is done, you can be confident about sticking to what you have decided upon and take persistent action towards your success. So I'm wishing you a very happy, healthy, and wonderful new year. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want more information on health and nutrition, all for free, visit my blog on my website at www.thegorilladiet.com. Thank you very much for joining me and have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. And of course, a blessed new year. Thank you.